This engine's been revving like this for 15 days straight at 1500 RPM. These are the sort of torture tests your engine oil has to go through to prove that it can stand up to the harsh conditions in your engine. But how do you know your oil can handle it? Let's go find out. Guys, thanks for being here. Thank you. So my first question, you know, engines, man, we're talking extreme heat. Can you give me an idea of what's actually going on inside that engine with all that heat? So a lot of people don't realize that in addition to its normal function to prevent wear, that an engine oil is actually uh, counted on to provide cooling in certain components, including the turbocharger and the underside of the piston. And heat is the number one enemy to oil performance. It can cause it to evaporate and it can also cause it to chemically degrade, a process that we oftentimes refer to as oxidation, and that can create undesirable byproducts that can be corrosive or even form deposits that can accumulate in the engine itself. So what causes oxidation? Is, is that something you can prevent? Oxygen in the air causes oxidation, and uh, the hotter things get, the faster they oxidize. Oils are formulated with a suite of antioxidants, because they operate at different temperatures. Formulators think a lot about oxidation. In addition to the additive system, you also formulate with robust base oils that respond well to antioxidants. It's, it's a very significant concern for formulating engine oils. So at a really high level, this is fascinating to me, but, but I guess kind of bring it down to, as a business owner, why should I care about oxidation? What does that really mean to me? So one component of your total cost of operation is the frequency at which you change your oil. Sure. Um, oxidation is the, especially with modern engines, is the number one trigger to require an oil change. And so that is why uh, the, the testing that is required to comply with today's standards really evaluates the uh, performance of the oil under these high temperature situations that would otherwise contribute to oxidation. By developing robust products, we're able to greatly extend the time interval between these oil changes. So you actually kind of led me into my next question for you. Uh, diesel engines now are starting to run hotter. They're being built with these ultra tight tolerances. How do you as an, uh, an oil manufacturer really design a lubricant that's going to withstand that and not break down? Yeah, so we're looking at it from a number of dimensions. But like you said, these tight tolerances are the number one enemy because that's an area where the oil can get significantly hot and if it breaks down and forms deposits, it can inhibit the, the movement of the parts and that are in those um, tight tolerance regions. We start with formulation, robust base oils, the right additive components put together and put to the test in the types of requirements that are prevalent these days, including what's called the Volvo T13 test, which is a very demanding uh, engine test that uh, really puts the oil to the test and evaluates its ability to protect against oxidative breakdown. But we don't stop there, right? So we're putting the oil to the test in real world operation and validating this performance in users that are operating in a very extreme climates and we're really demonstrating that performance and, and what it can mean to the end user. So do you have a kind of on that note, any nuggets of wisdom or advice for business owners that are kind of trying to take advantage of these extended drain intervals? I would suggest they buy good quality products. They use uh, used oil analysis, keep track of the degradation of the oil. They partner with their marketer or Chevron rep to make sure they're selecting the right product and change the oil when it needs it. Well, thanks again, guys. Engine life, fuel efficiency, and as you've seen here today, extended drain intervals, three major factors that are impacting your bottom line. To find the right oil for your equipment, visit choosedello.com.